Hello everybody, this is the Rabbit Hedgehog and now I'm on the 2015 M109R from Suzuki as well. Got my wife on the back trying to figure this thing out. And today we got, or this time we have traffic stop. Okay, I already like this bike's power, that's for sure. <laughs> now this is a Boulevard Cruiser. Uh, it's a very aggressive stanced cruiser. You set very low in the saddle. The saddle's very wide, tank's very wide, very comfortable though. I don't mind the seating position. It is a uh, forward mounting peg system, so it's gonna take me a second to get used to it. Um, so hopefully I'll remember that every time I start because I've had a problem with that a couple of times with forward mounts like the, um, let's see, like the Scout and stuff like that. Usually I, I do that, I don't know why. Now anyway, uh, the uh, boulevards are liquid-cooled motorcycles, this particular one is at least. Um, I believe this is kind of like their power cruiser. I'd have to look a little bit more up about it because it's the first time I've really looked at Suzuki cruisers or boulevard cruisers. And uh, so, something I'm going to have to get used to. I do like the uh, twin stack gauges. I mean, uh, one thing I don't like is the speedometer on the tank. I've never really been a fan of speedometers on the tank, just because the fact is it takes a little bit to look at them. There we go. So when you look down here, you got a clock right here with the fuel gauge. You got the uh, odometer. There's your speedometer. And then up at top, you got a tachometer digital and a gear indicator. But my gosh, does this thing have some power. Kind of wish I wasn't in the middle of the pack or toward the end of the pack. That way I could roll through it. I got the TU250X is up ahead of us there. Usually they're delegated to the back duty because they're not that fast. So I don't know what's going to happen when we get to the interstate because I really want to test this one out on the interstate, that's for sure. So far in two-up position, it's not too bad. I don't really notice that my wife is back there, so that's good to note. Uh, I do, uh... Ooh, this thing has engine braking. Just throws her into me every time. <laughs> don't mean to do that, but when the engine brake kicks on, it kicks on and she gets thrown there for a second. Mirrors are really wide angle on this bike, uh, so I don't mind that at all. I always like view, I always like seeing behind me without needing to turn my head and things like that. So I don't mind that at all. Uh, Suzuki has a little bit different package of controls. Uh, over here we got a flash to pass, of course the bright selector switch, hazard lights, I like that. Um, you have to cancel the turn signals on your own, horn, and of course your starter side and your emergency switch on the right. So just a little bit extra stuff on the other side. Uh, overall though, because the way this bike has you sitting, it's one of those bikes that you don't have to worry about that aggressive wind problem, you know, where you're getting into the wind and, and uh, it buffets you around because this seating position, because it's so low and the way it just sits, it, you know, kind of keeps you held up pretty well. Take a look at this. I mean, it's fat and lazy, that's for sure. Revs really well. I mean, this is a very low end torque bike. Um, you know, versus, let's see, versus the, the Triumph, this, this bike definitely has quite a bit more pull on it. Bigger engine, of course, and V-twin usually helps out versus parallel twin. Parallels usually don't have that much in the torque department on the low end. They usually are very good linear power bike, and that's what the Triumph is. Very linear, very smooth in on that. This bike, though, is just low in power. Uh, right now, I'm cruising at 50, and I'm in fourth gear. And I'm only pulling a little less than 3,000 RPM, so this bike isn't even working for it. I mean, that's that's for sure. I haven't even got to the top gear yet or even attempted to because I don't need to. I, I've got just all the pull I want because it's in the low end, and that's why I want to keep it there. Just kind of 
keep it from that low end gear. All right. Very good brakes, I might add. Very, very good brakes. Let's see. I'm going to look at the front end here. It's got brake on that side, brake on that side. So it's got twin front disc brakes on it. Rear disc, very good stopping power for such a big cruiser. Very simple. Sorry about the uh, engine braking there. <laughs> I, I, I've done it twice. I'm like, good gracious, it just stops. <laughs> so you keep <laughs> thanks for not hitting my head though that helps <laughs> but so far I mean this bike is pretty pretty good I actually like it Now that I'm able to get on a little bit, that does accelerate really good. I hate to be out accelerating a Jixer though, that's why he's probably looking at me like, what? Not accelerating a Jixer. But no, this bike is just fantastic and wonderful in all due respect. So I'm letting him get ahead, I just signaled him. I know where we're going, so <laughs> I remember this time. So I'm gonna let him take a head there. He's a pretty cool guy. I need to get his name. Like I said, I, I, I'm thankful for the Highway Patrolman coming out and doing this for us, and that way we have really good riding guys. I mean, these guys are legit to come out and, and play with us. That's for sure. Anyway, back to the to the bike here. I mean, this thing is fat and lazy in the turns, for no doubt about that, that's that's for sure. And as soon as you rip it into the turn, you just kind of have to remember it's a big, burly thing. I mean, it's got the forward mount, so you get a little bit better lean angle than you would a traditional Harley-Davidson. This thing just pulls remarkably, I mean... <laughs> like I said, I rode those Yamahas, and I mean, they were just afterthoughts, but this bike, this is a bike where they are proud of what this thing can do, just the, the build quality of it. I mean, I, I am, like I said, I look at the structure, I look at how everything's done, how the cords are tucked away, and that tells me, you know, how come, how much pride they have when they're assembling these bikes, and like I said, Yamahas felt incomplete or an afterthought, they just didn't feel right, you know, but this bike... I mean, it just pulls unbelievably strong, and that is a very good feeling. I mean, it is very good. I'm going to grab top. I think this is top gear. Let me see if it's got a sixth. So fifth gear is top gear. It's spaced really well for the power of this bike. I have to say that because Suzuki goes, hey, this bike is low in power, so we're going to play with that. That's how we're going to roll with it. We're going to do low in power. And that's what they did. Made that low end really good. All right, take her into a sharp turn here. Getting some rain again. Ooh, ow, 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 that's hail. Ow. It was solid. Maybe it was rock, I don't know, but that kind of hurt. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but man, this bike I mean I can lean it oh I love it accelerating into the turn oh it's a great bike when it comes to power this bike doesn't have that that Yamaha feel this bike is not the this is an afterthought this is this is a bike that they care to make this is a bike that they want to make this is a bike that they want people to buy so I'm gonna give this one the rabbit hedgehog seal of approval already because this is fun. Like I said, when it comes down to like the, the GSX S uh, 750, wonderful bike as well. That gets still approval. 250, as long as you're not planning on major interstate speeds or anything like that or big riding or anything anywhere like that nature, then I do recommend the... Uh... All right, here we go. Catching up to the group here. 
then I do recommend the uh, TU 250X because I mean I tried it and I tried to get it up to speed to be ridiculous but it I mean 70 was <laughs> it was 70 it didn't make it barely made it once I think I think I can't remember night I like this bike <laughs> I've been talking about power cruisers as the next bike like the Diavel or the uh, or the rocket 3 hopefully I get to ride a rocket 3 here pretty soon I've always wanted to get get a leg over something you know and then play with it the Diavel was good I mean this bike I mean it doesn't have the power that the Diavel had but it has it has guts. I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't scream that I can go a million miles an hour like the Diavel did, but it's quick. I mean, it is fast. And that's that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, this bike is stable at, at the speeds I've been going so far. I mean, I don't mind its lazy turns. That's, you know, kind of indicative of cruisers anyway. And I'm more of a lazy rider. I don't particularly like sport bikes or anything like that. I like my standards or old style sports bikes like that 250X up there. I love that bike. I'm sorry. I see that person on that little bike. Oh, don't fall on me. to the interstate. Let's see how this goes here. This thing is just magnificent. <laughs> it is a magnificent machine. I cannot stress that enough. When I giggle like this and I smile, I love it. That's and that's just it. I love this bike. I mean, I'm doing highway speed in second gear. I mean, that just doesn't happen. I'm in third gear in keeping with these guys. This is a cruiser. This is not typical of them. We're gonna get everybody back in a steady line here. But yeah, I mean, like I said, this is pretty wonderful. Pretty wonderful. That's all I got to say. So once again, this is the Rabbit Hedgehog. This is a 2015 Suzuki Boulevard uh, 105R. Anyway, once again, like I said, Hedgehog approved. <laughs>